Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today's video is gonna be a mixture of four different thrift stores, St. Vincent's, Thrift Giant, Salvation Army, and Genesis. These are all in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And basically they were all in my drafts. So I hope you enjoy this video and see what I get to flip for a profit or keep if it's really, really cool. All right, thanks for watching. Let's start with this tree remote, which I thought was a cool concept. I had never seen it before, but it actually doesn't go for much online and it was like $3, so not enough profit for me, so I left it. And these I recognize right away because I have it. It belongs to an hors d'oeuvre set from Avon, and I actually had the tree already in my basket because I was wondering if I could find the other parts to it, and I reunited them. <laughs> This is a Linux ornament, and Linux is a good brand, but I don't know, the ornaments are kind of hit and miss for me. It was $2.50, and see, some of them are really low sellers. This one sold for $35, but you just gotta find the right ones. I thought this was a painted coconut, but it's really just a little wobbly paper mache Santa. Thought it was cute, but I left it. This is an Expressly Yours little bowl, and you can tell because it has the letter E-Y. But we have sold plates of this brand before, but for $1.49, it ended up selling for $34 plus shipping and really quickly too. So Bolo alert. And I thought about getting this willow tree, especially because my mom collects them, but I just noticed that it didn't have the wings. See, Ugh, that's always so frustrating, isn't it? Sometimes there's a reason why they're in the thrift store. But anyways, here's some vintage Texas wear melamine plates. And I got both of them, and Matthew got the Sharpie off by just using a Clorox wipe. And this little boy just did not want to get kissed. He says, are you kidding me? Again? Anyways, just combing these shelves, and I found another J. Dubin little plaque. And these always sell for us. Sometimes it takes a while, but we usually find them cheap. Like, this was only 83 cents. And it's kind of fragile ceramic, and I just think they're nice. I thought about getting this potted plant steak, which is like a cute little kitschy flamingo, but I put it back. I did, however, get this Cane's plush. We show them quite often. They have kind of slowed down on us, but I believe this already sold around Christmas time. So pick it up if you can find it for cheap enough, and this had the tags. This was a Fitz and Floyd little trinket dish. I ended up passing, doesn't go for much, but if it was for my own collection, I would have gotten it. And this, I looked it up, it was from Turkey, and it was $3, but I just couldn't find a match, and it had some flashing removed at the bottom, and I just didn't think it was worth it. But this was Coton Colors. If you don't know, this is a brand we talk about a lot, and this already sold for $28, plus shipping and we did a scrolling through video showing other comps so check that out if you haven't and look at this huge lollipop looks like someone made it as a prop for a play i didn't get it but it was neat and here's what i thought was a really interesting shaped glass and i just could not find anything about it it was only 83 cents and i found another one that was similar and i thought they stacked together so i took a picture like this and used Google Lens, and here's what I found. Nothing that looked similar, and sometimes it's just really hard with clear glass. So let me know if you've ever seen those before. They were really heavy, so I thought they were crystal. But anyways, let's move along. I looked up comps for this Nitro Bat, because I hear there's good money in aluminum bats, but this one was just kind of run of the mill, and it would be great if it was just for myself. I don't know what I would do with the bat. Maybe protection? <laughs> Anyways, I'm not a very sporty person. Thrifting is a sport, right? I think it should count. You burn a lot of calories. And I was super excited when I saw this item. I thought it was vintage, but there's a lot of repros because Target and Hasbro has redone it, and these are just the replacement pegs. So if it was vintage, I probably would have gotten it, but I left it. As a Star Wars nerd, I loved this item because I've never seen one out in the wild. It is a holocron, I think from Galaxy's Edge, and it was only 41 cents after the discount. When this was filmed, I did not see any sold, but here's some active listings, and I need to do some more research, but I'm sure it'll bring decent money for that price. 
This was a beautiful piece made of different types of wood and gravel. I am kicking myself for not getting it. It was even signed too. Made in 08 from cruisenatural.com. I love the mid-century vibe it had, but I was looking more for resale and not to keep. Looks like the artist's name was Kim, and it was made of tiger wood and other materials. They're called Trinity Crosses, and here's the website if you want to know more information. I love that red one. And now I believe this is Thrift Giant across the street, one of my favorite ones. And look at this little angel. She looks scared. I love looking at all the handmade pottery that trickles down. Like someone decided to give away their art project. This is such a mid-century plate by Taylor Smith Taylor. And I just didn't need any more dish sets, but that's not a bad deal. And for the whole set, I just didn't feel like there was enough money there. But man... You would think they'd be worth more. This was $1.99 and it was Pier 1, the vineyard pattern. We do pick up a lot of Pier 1, but we've kind of stopped or at least slowed down a little bit. And I didn't find this pattern particularly worth it, but it's beautiful. And this I always look for. It is a huge Tiki Hut dispenser. It was only $13, but you know, it takes up a lot of space and it just isn't worth a lot. I kind of wish, looking back, that I got it. And it looks like it's from Target. So let's take a look at some comps. This next item I bought for Matthew because he has a green thumb. It's called the Violet Pot. Let me know if, in the comments if you've ever used one of these. But I think it has a smaller one inside because it's porous and it says it's the pot that waters itself. Also, if you have any tips for African violets, let me know, because we accidentally killed ours. And <laughs> these pots sell for about 10 to $22, so it'll be a good flip, especially for $2.99. And these plates we actually bought for ourselves. I liked the agate look to it. It was $4.99, so a dollar a plate, but we ended up getting rid of them because they got super hot in the microwave and it's just kind of an awkward shape. And this I was disappointed in because it ended up having a hairline crack, but I thought it was beautiful, and it's from Ecuador. Who remembers these posters that you could color? They were like velvet, and they were just so neat. I believe from Rose Art. And Andrew and I had these when we were little. We had a gumball collection, and this was just so nostalgic, even though it's an m and dispenser. I had to put it back though, but these we ended up getting because for $3.99 there were three of them and I believe they were on sale. They are just these Pokemon playing card mats and they should go for decent money, however we just haven't listed them yet. This was a really nice yoga pillow from hashtag do your yoga for $4.99 and I ended up buying it and I use it every day. Just not for yoga, for support. <laughs> and I liked this Marilyn Monroe Lakers shirt, but I didn't get it. it was this was a cool set from Block. The pattern was medley. It reminded me of the 90s and I love the colors, but I left it there. Kind of reminded me of Barney. <laughs> this was a $12 figurine. I think it's brass or bronze, but I left it at that price. And this, I recognized the angular aspect of it. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> But it's from Salem, and I know Salem from their tricorn right there, which does sell well. And I have a few advertising pieces, like a little ashtray, I believe. And I just think they're so cool, but I left it there because it just had one piece. But look out for Salem. Very mid-century, very angular. I really liked this painting, and it was huge, but it was $400. So the next few items I didn't get, but I just thought I'd show you because like I said, this store has some really cool items. This one was even signed. This was an etched piece of art glass and I left it at $12, but I thought it was really pretty. I wonder what that style is called. And this was a very abstract piece of glass. I think it was a spoon rest. At least that's what it looks like to me. And then I found these cool votive holders. I think they're Costa Boda, just because I've been learning a little bit more about art glass. And I left them. But Emile Henry is a brand to look out for. I 
can't remember if I got this plate actually. <laughs> if I did, it isn't listed, but as you can see by these solds, it's a great brand. Look at that, four bowls for $104. And I've sold a mug before. It was a yellow mug and it went for good money. So that's a good brand to look out for. Or maybe it's Emily. Emily or Emil? Anyways, I thought I might get these Polar Express 10 year anniversary mugs. I think they're hot chocolate mugs from an attraction. And I just found out they're way too popular. But some Polar Express things can go for good money. Yep, here they are. And I just don't pick up mugs as much as I used to unless it's a really good Bolo brand. On the bottom shelf, I found this interesting piece. It looks like it's a decorative container of some sort, almost like a stein and had a handle. But it's for bear's grease. It did have this packing tape on it, which hopefully doesn't damage it, but as you can see, it was already damaged on that chain and the base, which is another reason why I didn't get it. Plus it was $24, but I just thought it was interesting. And here is what popped up when I searched bear grease. Got a lot of vintage and antique looking containers. And I don't even know what bear's grease is. I mean, this one says bearing lubricant. Not sure if that's what it's for. Anyways, if you know anything else about this, let me know. But it did sell for $49 once. And now we're at the last thrift store, Salvation Army by my work. It's kind of pricey, and so I don't go there much anymore. Plus, I feel like they sell a lot of broken stuff at high prices. But anyways, these mugs are really cute. But I didn't need them. But defy authority, drink out of the toilet, right? I love Alamo Draft House. It's my favorite place to go see a movie. And this pint glass would have been mine, but it was $7. No, ma'am. See? Broken stuff. I hate when there's a whole bunch of broken stuff. <laughs> but I have this glass. It's tiki, but it has like some rust stains on the bottom. I loved this Dr. Clown spoon dropper. I got it for $1.99. Don't ask me why. I just liked it. I can't find it online, though. But this is actually our exact couch, but it's just like a little piece the corner piece of it and so I thought that was interesting why someone would have just that piece for sale anyways what that mouth do I really like this it looks like some studio pottery and it's maybe a mouth ashtray I'm not sure but I had to grab it and I actually use this for my tiki drinks so anytime I find anchor hawking measuring glasses or things like that I get it I really liked this little scrubby holder but didn't have a brand and I don't need it so I put it down and this is Caribe or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but I, it's like mid-century from Puerto Rico and I just couldn't find anything like it but I put it back this is a mini micro baker or something like that from Highmark 1977 and they had another one a mini casserole microwave dish couldn't find it so I left it but I thought it was neat and do y'all remember these Pokeballs from Burger King? I had them as a kid. This little teacup was just too cool. I just had to get it for $1.50 because it was half off. It is from Harmony House and it looked very mid-century. Here are some listings. It's the coquette or tulip pattern. And it looks like if you have the right pieces, it sells well. I just decided to keep this little teacup. Thank you so much for going with me to four of my favorite thrift stores. Hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We just hit 900 subscribers and we're just so close to 1,000 and just we have so much fun making these videos. And I will leave you with poopy porcelain. Some poopy porcelain. <laughs> Bye everybody!